In this discussion, we will discover class the behavior of polynomial functions in terms of their graphs and um, zeros or roots. Now, the general shapes of polynomial functions are shown below. These graphs show the maximum number of times the graph of each type of polynomial may intersect the x-axis. Now, I'm going to emphasize here the terms may intersect because class, normally class, the degree of a polynomial tells us the number of times the um, graph would intersect the x-axis. Now let's start with constant function. Now this is the graph of a constant function with a degree of 0. Obviously class, the degree is 0 which means it will never intersect class the x-axis. It's just horizontal line. Okay, let's proceed with Lidgren function which is this one. Now, in a linear function, look at this, the degree is um, 1 or first. So meaning to say the graph would cross the x-axis only once. Now, for a quadratic function, the graph is parabola and normally the graph uh, would intersect the x-axis um, twice. For a cubic function with the degree of 3 or a third degree, the graph must intersect the x-axis thrice. For the, query, um, for the quartic function, fourth degree, the graph would intersect the x-axis um, four times. For the quintic function or fifth degree polynomial, the graph should intersect the x-axis five times. However, again, um, I gave emphasis a while ago that three doesn't equate to the number of times the graph would intersect the x-axis because as we go on with our discussion, you will learn that not all the times the degree of a polynomial determines the number of times the graph would intersect the x-axis. Another emphasis here, these six examples of graphs class are just for positive leading coefficients. What I mean with that class, if you have a function with a positive leading if coefficient, the graph may look like this. However, if um, the leading coefficient is negative, um, ang mangyayari dito mababaliktad. Okay? To illustrate class, I'm going to start with the constant function. What if the leading coefficient is negative? Now, the blue graph would represent the negative um, leading coefficient. This is for the constant function. Look at this. From the positive y, this time it will be in the negative y axis. That's for the constant function. Now, what will happen for linear function with a negative leading coefficient? The graph would be like this. See? Mababaliktad lang class. Okay? For quadratic function, you are familiar with this. Um, for a positive, the graph would be upward. For a negative leading coefficient, it would be downward. Okay? What if for cubic function, negative uh, leading coefficient, cubic function? Okay. Mababaliktad ulit siya. Okay? Same goes with quartic function. It goes downward. For a quintic function, mababaliktad siya. Now look at degree 1, degree 3, and degree 5. Okay? Um, there is a similarity here, class. Look at this. For degree 1, degree 3, and degree 5, they all started in second quadrant and ended in uh, fourth quadrant. Now, for positive, if, pos if leading coefficient is positive, it goes upward. Now, if the leading coefficient is negative, it goes downward. So, 
you could actually make um, a summary out of this given examples, okay? The first thing we have to do here is we must know how to predict, okay? We must know how to predict um, the graph of a polynomial function uh, in terms of their zeros and um, the end behavior. Now, we are not after with what's going on in the middle of the graph as long as the prediction and the zeros are accurate, okay? Now, in predicting the graph of a polynomial functions, it's important to write it in factored form. So, you can plot the zeros of the polynomial. Um, ito na yung tinatawag na, na x coordinates or roots, okay? Now, ito na yung sinasabi ko class. In P of x or equals x ray x and the quantity of x minus a raised to the nth power. Now, if n is odd, okay, this is important. If n is odd, the graph will pass through um, the a. However, if n is even, then the line is tangent to a. Now, it's easy to understand this um, using an example. I'll give you an example. Given um, f of x, equals the quantity of x uh, minus 3 to the second power times the quantity of x plus 4 to the third power. Now notice here class, we will start first with, or we will start first with um, x minus 3 to the second power. Now, notice that the exponent here is 2 and this is even, which means According to re this rule class, again, if n is even, the line is tangent to a. Now, in x minus 3 to the second power, your a here is the opposite of the constant. In this case, it's positive 3 because that's the opposite of negative 3. So, if I, we're going to plot this in um, our x-axis, Okay, again, the rule, the line is tangent to A, which means it will never cross positive 3. So, ganito ang magiging graph niya. Okay, so that is how you illustrate tangent line with respect to its exponent that is even. Now, Let's have the second, which is x plus 4 to the third power. So the opposite of positive 4 here is negative 4. Now, considering their exponent, which is positive 3, that is odd. Now, if the exponent is odd, it will pass through the value of a. Now, your a here is negative 4. So, we need to say class, if this is negative 4, the graph would pass the um, a, which is our a, which is negative four, so that is the graph. Okay, is some basis lang. Okay, I'm just showing you the two situations. It can be upward. I I mean, um, going up or going down. Let's have this first problem. Predict the graph of p of x is equal to x times the quantity of x squared minus 4. So the first thing we have to do here is to identify or get the zeros of p of x by factoring. Now we all know that x times the quantity of x squared minus 4 of these two terms um, the x squared minus 4 is factorable. So we will have this as x times the quantity of x plus 2 times the x minus times x minus 2 where in x plus 2 and then x minus 2 is the fact are the factors of x squared minus 4 so having this class um, by zero product property the three zeros now are 0 negative 2 and then positive 2 we should identify first degree of the polynomial for us to have basis of um, what could be the graph of this. So, 
Multiplying this or expanding x times the quantity of x squared minus 4, this will be x cubed minus 4x. Now, the highest degree is 3, so therefore, this type of function is cubic. And looking at the basis again, um, in my previous in slide, cubic function must start with third quadrant going to first quadrant. It's an S shape graph right if you can still remember it's a graph looking like um s okay so having this um the zeros negative two and then positive two and connecting the plots considering the figure of the graph it the graph of cubic it would be like this okay um, it's in third quadrant, it starts with third quadrant, ends with first quadrant. Let's have another. Predict the graph of P of X equals negative X times the quantity of X minus 1 cubed plus the quantity of X plus 3 um, squared. Now, um, let's identify first the degree of a polynomial by predict, uh, multiplying or expanding it. But you don't have to entirely um, expand this. All you have to do is to multiply the exponents of the excess. So 1 and plus 3 plus 2, this is 6. It's even. I mean, it's even. So therefore, it's either going up or going down. However, uh, we all know that the leading coefficient of the given is negative, so therefore, it's going down. So with this, um, the zeros, let's get now the zeros of the given. It's, um, well, the given is already in factored form, so therefore, the zeros now are 0, 1, but multiplicity of 3, it is because we have here the exponent of positive 1 in this case is 3. So you must um, emphasize the multiplicity of 3. Then we have negative 3, the last 0, which is negative 3, and multiplicity of 2 because x plus 3 has exponent of 2. So with this, we all know, I have mentioned it earlier, that when we have... Um, exponents that is let's start first with um, 1 okay 1 multiplicity of 3 so we all know that the rule of um, odd exponents the graph will pass through um, positive 1 but with negative 3 since that is multiplicity of even it will be a tangent line or it will bounce back. So plotting the points of zeros, uh, which are 0, 1, and negative 3, it would be like this. Okay, it would be like this. We all know that in negative 3, it will bounce back again or a tangent. Then, Connecting it to zero, it will pass through. It is because the graph is, I mean, it is odd. Then, connecting it to um, if, uh, to 1, it will pass through because the exponent or multiplicity is odd. So, the graph would be like this. Okay, so that is now the graph of the given at negative x times the quantity of x minus 1 raised to the third power times the quantity of x plus 3 uh, to the second power.